And now Dr James Wright joins me here in the studio. Hello, Doc. Hi there, David. I'm always great. I've got good news today, a very common disease. We know the cure and it costs you nothing to get treatment. I'm glad we've got some good news at last. <laughs> good news. <laughs> we had all these dreadful things the last few weeks, haven't we? <laughs> but this is good news, and it comes per courtesy of the Harvard Health Letter, which is a monthly publication mm. put out by the Harvard University. So it's a very authoritative magazine. Boston has some of the world's uh, best research centres. Now, the disease is called celiac disease. Tell me, what's celiac disease? Just rolls off your tongue, doesn't it? It does. Celiac disease means an intolerance of the body to the gluten or the protein factor of wheat, barley and rye. Essentially wheat, the most commonly used uh, product is in Australia as far as carbohydrates are concerned. Now, this part of the protein, gluten, if eaten, it irritates the small bowel where the food is absorbed. Now, the foods are absorbed by little projections, microscopic projections called villi. And they project into all the food and suck up the protein, whatever it happens to be. Our gluten, unfortunately, destroys these, which means you are not getting the correct amount of protein. So it has a, an adverse effect on the body, causes diarrhea, flatulence, uh, horrible, de- bloated feeling, very unpleasant. And also it can impede the absorption of iron, which means people are often anemic, mm-hmm. calcium, which means often have uh, mm-hmm. stunted growth uh, and weak bones. And in kids, if it's not diagnosed early, you'll have stunted growth in children. So it's a, the, the symptoms are absolutely dreadful, often not picked up by doctors because they're not thinking much about it. Now, would you believe, when it's diagnosed by either a blood test or they will do a biopsy, take a little tiny bit of the small bowel and check it under the microscope, diagnosed in... 15 seconds by a pathology person, and the treatment is you simply stop eating gluten. Normally, if the rest of us gluten is a fine, it's a great protein. You mm. uh, vegetarians eat vegetarian yep. steaks, as, as we all know. Mm. So stop eating gluten, and you are cured. 98% of symptoms go. Person is a normal life, and it's absolutely dramatic the beneficial effects. Oh, it's probably quite a few people watching right now that will be benefiting from that advice. There are thousands of them out there. A mate of mine, a doctor, an older, older, older guy than me, and he, he was diagnosed with the celiac disease, having seen hundreds of doctors at the age of 80. So it can occur <laughs> anywhere throughout life. So any tummy upsets, if they don't settle with ordinary routine medication, try the gluten-free diet. More information at docwright.com.au. At docwright.com.au. I'm glad you've learned learned it. (laughs) Lock it up. (laughs) Look up and type in your symptom. We'll give you all the answers for stuff published over the last 10 years. And God bless. Good luck. We'll see you next week, Doc. And I'll see you after the break. 